Hello and welcome to Learn Law with Hannah. Now most of you know I've been covering the Lucy Letby trial, um, doing a brief summary every single week uh, since the beginning of October. However, the jury are now out and they're going to be out for a couple of weeks. So I was in London yesterday and decided to go and watch the Kevin Spacey trial. So first of all, this um, was happening at Southwark Crown Court in central London. Now, lots of people are like, well, how did you get to go? Like, you know, how do you go? You literally just turn up at court. You go through security, any Crown Court in the country. Um, they are public courts. You go through security. If you've got any drinks like water, squash, whatever it is, you do actually have to take a sip as you go through security because I think they're thinking, oh, it could be acid or, or something. Um, so it's very straightforward. Courts normally start about 10 in the morning and then um, there's a break of an hour for lunch, normally one till two, and then the jury um, will be sitting until probably four, four thirty. So it's an amazing experience just to see the English courts, um, how they operate. You know, you've all heard of juries. You may well have done jury service, so you are going to know something about it. But any trial, murder, rape, robbery, theft, whatever it is, you are entitled to go and watch that in any Crown Court. So definitely, definitely something I would recommend doing. OK, so back to Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, there are four complainants who have alleged that um, he sexually assaulted them and uh, groped them, essentially. So first of all, I only saw um, two hours of this case. The court was packed. It was full, as you would expect. He's an A-list movie star. He's won Oscars. Um, and yeah, courtroom was packed, full of journalists. Um, and I timed it really well. When I turned up, there was just a short break. So a lot of people had left their seats and I just grabbed one. I was like, right, I am here. So um, sat in the public gallery. There are only about 15 seats so not very many actually Norwich Crown Court has about 40 in court one so it was held in court one and again also timed it really well because Spacey after the short break um, came back into the courtroom and he was being cross-examined so the previous day he had given evidence um, and on Friday it was the turn of the prosecution to cross-examine and to try and pull apart his his evidence. First of all something really interesting is his name is not Kevin Spacey it's Kevin Spacey Fowler so it was quite strange to hear the barrister the KC um, talking to him and referring to him as Mr Spacey Fowler. Um, so what did I think of Kevin Spacey? Well you are very aware that you are in the presence of an A-list movie star. He's won Oscars, you know, American Beauty, um, supporting actor for Usual Suspects. And he definitely has that kind of quality in court. So he commands presence. And I don't know how the jury are going to reach a decision because it's Kevin Spacey, you know, you are aware of that. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. I didn't kind of expect to be like, wow, it's Kevin Spacey. But um, it was all quite surreal. And you, you have to remember as well that he is an actor, a very good actor. So that was something as I was listening to what he was saying, I was like, how, how do you distinguish? How do you know he could in his mind just be playing a role? I mean, who, who knows? Um, he did like to name drop. He mentioned Judy Dench, which again I thought was interesting because everybody loves Judy Dench. Yeah, she was in James Bond. Um, as yeah, she's been in so many things. She's a a national treasure. So I thought it was interesting because, um, yeah, name dropping her. There was a discussion about whether he had attended one of Elton John's parties in two thousand and three, so twenty years ago. Um. And the KC, she was she was on him. He said that he couldn't recall. And then later he said he didn't attend. And she said, Mr. Spacey Fowler, it can't it can't be both. Can you not remember whether you attended or not? Or did you or didn't you attend? Yeah, you can't have it both ways. So that was very interesting. And he then said, well, I didn't attend. He was told off by the judge twice, I think, when I was there. Um, because he just wasn't answering the questions. He was actually quite short in his answers and would say, well, that's that's your opinion. That's your allegation. Um, so definitely a level of arrogance there. Um, they asked him about drugs. He had a bowl full of spliffs and um, they said, well, were you, were you expecting company? And he was like, I like to get high. It's a very kind of nonchalant about it. Um, and he also talked about a naughty relationship that he 
he had um, with one of the complainants and he had to explain that. The KC asked him, you know, what, what do you mean? Do you mean sexual? And he said, yes, but they, they didn't have sex. He also, with one of the four complainants, said that he, he admitted that he had completely misread the signals and said, well, who hasn't made a pass um, on someone and been, been rejected or who hasn't misread signals? Um, and the, the previous day in court, he had said that he was a big flirt, um, which I don't think is advisable in a sexual assault case. Um, so that's that was kind of my, my impression, or those were my impressions of Kevin Spacey. Um, he then came back and sat in the dock, which was like two metres in front of the public gallery. So um, he, he sat there. So very, very interesting. Um, the jury will be out next week and they will return a verdict. And yeah, it's very difficult to know what the verdict is going to be, but um, fascinating and absolutely recommend um, going to watch a criminal case. So let me know if you have any questions.